This video is just going to go through the various options uh, to do with events and reminders uh, on a planner. Uh, so uh, given that you've set up your planner correctly or just using one of the ones in Zoom Notes, uh, custom planner generator, then this should uh, help you out. So um, this is showing a month page um, with events showing just as markers and uh, the notes section has some um, uh, reminders showing uh, within it. So I'm going to open the um, uh, document properties, go to the calendar section in there. So the first one, show events, I'll just get rid of events showing throughout the document, they're no longer shown. Um, back on again. So um, the next one is to do with how uh, events are represented on the calendar page. So when they're just shown as markers, it's uh, not relevant. So I'll go to one where it's showing um, them as uh, uh, the text and time. So um, fill area background, I'll turn it off and you'll see that it's just got, events just have a border around them now rather than uh, uh, the background. So I'll turn that back on. If I turn off the border, then suddenly they've um, got the colour in the background but not the border around them. You can turn the border off as well and then you just get the, um, the text. Um, you can now override the text colour. So this is showing black. If I turn it off, then the text is in the calendar colour. Um, so just to explain the calendar colour, if I tap on one of these, Zoom Notes has a red colour associated. Now that's coming from uh, iCal, the calendar app within um, um, uh, iOS. Um, and if you're syncing with Google Calendar, then it'll be coming from there. Um, back to the options. Um, uh, turn that back on because I quite like black uh, text on my um, um, uh, planner. Now you can choose any colour for the text, so if I go green then suddenly it's turned green, black, grey, whatever. Um, show events from calendars, well all is going to show all the calendars that you've got selected, if I tap on there, then you can um, select which ones you want to see. Um, but I like all. Um, right, how to show events. So you've got a choice, this is a week page and it's showing um, a list. So we'll start with none. Obviously it's not going to show events on the um, the current page. Um, markers is going to show these little dots. Now marker is represents a event or more than one event from a particular calendar. So, so the colour denotes which calendar, two events in that one, three in that in that one. So if we go in here then that's a work calendar, so etc. So I'm just tapping on the events and uh, it's going to list them in that mode. If I go to a list, now what this does is it um, shows the events starting at the top of the calendar area and just puts them one after the other. So they're not, um, they're not uh, aligned to any particular timeline other than their sequential in time order. But they're just stacking one on top of the other. And the final mode is full, and what that's doing is it's positioning them from uh, the start time to the end time of the day. So it's whatever you've configured that to. Um, so it might be uh, midnight to midnight, and it'll sp spread them out over a 24 hour period, or you can set it to six in the morning to six at night if that's. If you know your events are only in, within that range, then that would be a sensible thing to do. If one falls outside that range, it'll just go before 
um, uh, the other events, or if it falls out, out after that range, it will go after and it'll just get stacked up. Um, so if I actually go to a day, so that's in full mode, that sort of makes sense because there's room to see everything. Um, if I tap on one of these, then um, it takes you to um, the um, details of that event. So you can edit it if you want, add alarms, things like that, or even delete it. Um, if you want to open calendar, it will take you to the calendar app and show that same event in there. Um, so going back to uh, the options, events before layers, on this calendar it's not going to show a whole lot, but it's basically when the events are drawn to the screen, whether it's either before everything else or after. So I've put before um, layers on, so it's going to draw the events, then it's going to draw everything else on the page. And that's why we just see a slight uh, lightening of the uh, filled areas. And that's because um, there's a, um, a filled background on this uh, table, which represents the day on the page. Um, if that was opaque, then everything would disappear. So you've got to be careful with that option. And it's uh, about designing your pages so that you know, if you want the events to go first, then you're going to have to leave um, uh, uh, transparent areas on the things that are going to overlay them. Um, so show reminders is whether you're interested in reminders or not. Um, reminder text color, same thing as, um, as the event text color. Um, Show reminders from calendars. Um, again, you can select which calendars you want to uh, show on your planner. Um, so dated reminders on calendar. If I um, turn that on and off, off, then all reminders will be shown um, in the reminder area. So that list got longer, you notice that. If I turn that on then, all you're seeing in the reminders list are the ones that aren't dated, and the ones that are dated will show up in intermingled with the events on because they they can be um, assigned to a particular day or, or time. And the last one, lock calendar, um, is um, affecting what can be selected on a page. Um, if you've set up one of your own calendars, then you'll realize that certain polygons or tables get marked as being from calendar. Um, so um, I'll just add one to show that. So if I add a table here um, and look within its properties, it's called a calendar switch there. So if that's on, I can select it and move it. But if I lock calendar, then um, try and select it again, it's not going to let me. So that means that you can configure your planner, lock it off, don't need to worry about it. And that's a, a, a useful thing to stop uh, things changing inadvertently. So I hope that helps. Any questions, just uh, get in touch.